My name is Dan Prophet, and I um, kind of have a unique sound. I uh, got my roots in traditional country music. Um, my grandfather was a coal miner, and I really like that sound, grew up listening to it. So what I try to do is bring a lot of the roots of old traditional country music and kind of make it more mainstream, more sellable. I think my brother, when I was about 11 years old, he gave me my uh, first Fender guitar, and um, he looked, taught me how to play Purple Haze on it and I was hooked from then. Um, and then grew older, probably around 21, going through college. Started playing a lot of beach bars, started hanging out, uh, meeting some really big bands. Starting to play out with them and really liked it, but didn't think I had enough talent at the time or the songwriting skills. Um, so I went to school, became an x-ray tech, traveled around a little bit, and then um, just about probably three years ago, I had an almost near-death experience. And um, God pulled me out of it, he talked to me about it, said I never lost faith and uh, what do I want from it? I said I want to be the best singer-songwriter ever. And before I knew it, songs were just coming in my head. Uh, I wrote a song in 10 minutes. Um, sometimes I hear the vocal, sometimes I hear the chorus, sometimes I hear the whole thing. And so about two and a half years now I've been writing solid and I probably have about 250 songs. Um, I went to Nashville last year, um, did five. Um, got Song of the Year at the NC Mays um, and got a couple other awards been in AFM magazine and it's like you know I really need to pursue this I think I think God is is helping me with this and uh, there's nothing better man than writing a great song you know what I mean mm -hmm. well I tell you um, sometimes I'll just be laying in bed and hear a tune sometimes I'll be going through a you know a bad breakup or something in my life that I can use from it uh, maybe uh, something with one of my friends and kind of inspire me to get just a title or just some kind of you know, lyrics or something like that, and then put that into a song and try to have more than a couple meanings so it can affect everyone's life and maybe help them, you know, maybe help them cry when they need to, maybe uh, help them smile when they need to. Um, but most of the time, they, I believe they come from God. Um, I'll just hear these songs in my head, and I do the best to put them down um, so it sounds as similar as I can in my head. Well, I tell you, I've, I've liked pretty much all of them, but I think my favorite is probably One More Day. Um, and actually, that is the song that um, uh, Relax Magazine has picked for their June Festival edition of their magazine. It kind of, kind of reminds me of the stuff I went through, through some of the bad memories and bad, bad kind of experiences, and you just want to give up in life and things in general. And that song kind of, I wrote that to um, kind of express what I was going through, and just, just hang in there one more day, and it'll get better. Well, like I said, I like the old traditional country roots. Um, grew up listening to them. I've had um, you know, music professionals say, I really don't know what sound I am. Um, Sire Records said, I'm not sure what, what kind of genre this is, but it's really cool. It's almost like um, alternative country, a little rock in there, and it's just kind of a totally different sound. And um, that's really what I'm focusing on, is getting a different sound out there so people hear that's a little bit different than everything else but still very, very cool and likable, you know. I think, um, I think I'm just slowly getting success in my terms um, is doing music professionally. Uh, like Merle Haggard died, I quit my job. I'm gonna do it 100% now. I'm moving here to Nashville probably the next month. And I, being, I think being that point where I'm successful is I get studio time to get my other couple hundred songs out and it doesn't cost me, you know, an arm and a leg, maybe a label. Um, maybe some sponsors, just something that I can get back in the studio and do music professionally and not eat ramen noodles anymore, you know? <laughs> or pork and beans, which is a staple in my house. But, um, I guess the uh, easiest site, the freest site, you can go to ReverbNation.com, search in Dan Profit, P-R-O-F-I-T-T, -T, or I'm also on uh, Amazon, iTunes, um, SoundCloud, Spotify, Google Plus, I mean Google Play, um, Pretty much anything, just Google me, and I think you can find uh, my music there. Um, right now, in the process of cutting a new album, but um, I think the next thing that's going to come out is the article on Relics Magazine. It'll be the June Festival edition, which will be a compilation CD inside, and one of my songs, which happens to be One More Day, they picked, will actually be on that compilation CDs, and that'll be in stores everywhere, in every festival in the United States this year. So.